Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Soul Stalker. It is a, it's a really cute looking kind of, I'm gonna say Paper Mario inspired Bullet Heaven, but it's, I, I think it's mostly just in terms of visuals. Let's go Shock Bracelet. Ooh, power decreased projectile aim. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. I'm pretty sure missing with uh, Chain Lightning is gonna be nothing. Oh, that's got a roguelike uh, progression map here. Let's go this direction and let's see what happens. Or roguelike Slay the Spire style. So I'm at almost getting some kind of rogue Genesia from this. So this is made by the developer of Outbound Ghosts, who's actually running this through Kickstarter, which I'm kind of interested by, just in terms of raw curiosity. Um, okay, so this is not a Chain Lightning, it's a ground AoE. That, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. Let me, uh, let's go back to main menu and switch it up. I don't mind the AoE, I think it, that could actually be really good. But yeah, I thought it was smites the surrounding area with lightning as opposed to other things. Snab, stab nearby enemies, knock back. Why don't we grab the uh, regen instead? Uh, let's just try that again. Uh, cool, and we don't have to go through a uh, campfire early. I don't necessarily know if campfires are bad, but I'm not particularly interested in them in the same way. So how does the regen work? Is it actually over time? Or is it a between rounds thing? No, I'm definitely regening. it's just not that much. Okay, I actually really like these visuals, they look really nice. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? Uh, but so, I guess if you're wondering about Outbound Ghost, it's a kind of Paper Mario-esque game, once again, that I played recently. I think the developer has a, uh, favored style. Oh, maybe that, uh, maybe that campfire is necessary. We don't seem to, be, seem to be leveling up here, so instead I I guess I've got to get my, um, spend my resources somewhere to upgrade. Ooh. Okay. Well, it looks like we got what we came for and we heal. So we get force, max HP, critical damage, pushback. I'm going to reroll for nothing. Uh, what does dexterity do? I have no idea. Prosperity, dexterity, stamina, speed, or some more regen. I'm going to go for dexterity. I don't know what that does. I don't know what any of this does. Uh, let's see. So why don't we go to the fire and see what I can do. Ah, so this is where I can actually spend my resources. I got 112. So, scales with HP. Magic blast nearby enemies. Increases dex, but decreases range. Or, applied bleed deals extra tick of damage. Interesting. Let's grab Khaled Bulb. Reroll. Slashes at nearby enemies in a large arc. Ooh. Oh, but I only have four. Okay, let's go with those. We got four weapons now. Uh, so hopefully I should be able to cut through these guys. I'm curious to see how this is going to work, just in terms of the lack of... Wow, okay, now I'm just shredding. <laughs> Alright, works for me. Yeah, I've kind of been following this developer a little bit, because I liked Outbound Ghost, I thought it was kind of cute. But then apparently their publisher may or may not have stolen their game. Uh, and kind of like re uh, released it on consoles early without like any patches or a bunch of other stuff and uh, so that's been kind of this this like low-lying thing in the background of uh, this year that I've been paying attention to. I guess as part of it they decided to uh, put this game together using at least some of their assets. The enemies seem to be all pulled from their previous game and honestly I, I guess I said this in yesterday's video as well talking about, uh, oh, that was fast. Uh, let's see, pickup range, dexterity, speed. I still don't know what dexterity does. Uh, let's, do we care about pickup range? Why don't we go for, force is probably knockback, so I'm gonna keep going dex. Okay. So why don't we do these three, then a shop, then a hard fight. Yeah, cause what I, yeah, no. I think this is fine. Okay, so what do we got? Push back by 7.7%. I, I, I wanna see my stats. Oh, here we go. Dexterity, affects weapon cooldowns. Good. So what's force? Uh, movement speed of projectiles. There's a lot of these. Gold gain from pickups, pickup range. Let's resume, let's grab the lucky leaf. I don't really care about weapons. I also don't seem to be able to level them up. Heals. HP per crit, but reduces max HP by 11.5% activation chance. 
That worries me. I don't I don't know what that means. Go power tongs. Rerolls are expensive. Let's see. Let's grab the Lucky Leaf and the two Fury Helms. And that's about all I'm going to be able to get. I'm curious how you level up your weapons here. But probably doesn't matter. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Yeah, so let's... Let's try and focus Dexterity for the attack speed, if I can. And obviously Prosperity for just heckin' money. Yeah, let's just kind of rip through them. Oh, this is working. I just want to figure out how to level weapons. Because I was hoping when I picked up the uh, spare uh, spare slashy dagger that it would actually rank up or something instead of me just getting another one. But clearly it's got to be some other, some other means of upgrade that I'm not aware of. Maybe there's a, a different kind of camp merchant that levels weapons up. Or maybe it's not in the game, I have no idea. Uh, but like I was going to say and kind of forgot to say... Uh, or got distracted. I actually really like this trend of developers uh, who've already made a game making a bullet heaven just as kind of like uh, in between project. Ooh, two percent crit chance. But I think the power is better. Two percent crit chance is pretty mild. Eventually, the crit chance is going to be better. But right now, I have next to no power, so it's more practical to just. Go for the damage. But I'm curious, what is my crit chance? 5% normally. Yeah. Oh, there are ranged enemies. Rude. Mainly just because I feel like, I mean, every developer has a different means of kind of being unique with the product they make. But I feel like developers that have already made a game have so much more perspective. And I don't wanna I don't wanna say this is kind of like a derision for um new developers. I, I think very much there are a lot of new developers that can come out of the gate with a banger, but one thing that's always been kind of on my mind is uh, I always, I always I don't want to say hate. I always feel really sad when I see a developer talking about like making their magnum opus as their first game. It sometimes works, uh, but most of the time it's kind of spooky. Do you want to go for the extra range? Maybe. Range. Please tell me that affects the size of my attacks. Like my slash, for example. Okay, let's be over here. That's a lot of enemies spawning. I don't quite want to deal with it. But, you know, as somebody whose entire job, effectively, is to find these cool games and showcase them, it always hurts a little bit when I see somebody that has, like, gone way out of their way to, uh... Or way out of their way? Has spent the last, like, five or six years making a game, but had never made games before, and so, like, they don't know any of the business or market research. Uh, and this isn't indie games either. Like this, this is actually quite a lot. Like I'm, I'm specifically thinking of the uh, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League game, where it's like, it's not their first game, but it's kind of very clear that they threw all pretenses to the wind and are just trying to recreate effectively Destiny, um, but with their own variants of it. So more pushback, more power, crit chance, or even more range. Let's go for the pushback. Blue upgrades seem pretty worthwhile. Okay, so more prosperity. Crit chance by 5.5%. Okay, I don't... I have a lot of money, actually. And here's where the frozen fish is worth it. Wait, what is magnification? Power decreased by 27% is terrifying. I, I don't... I don't know if I want that. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I have a death wish and we're going into an elite fight. Yeah, it's gonna go badly. We'll find out. Oh! Oh, that's a lot of enemies! Now, I have no dashes, do I? Okay, so I'm just gonna run in circles. Okay, my income is amazing. Is that it? That was it? That was the elite fight? 
Let's start getting this back. Okay, we get an elite trinket. Projectiles pierce? No. Coins always explode at the end of the round. Instead of having a 25% chance to. Increases pickup range. I can do better than this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for max concentration. I don't actually know if this is the right choice, but it doesn't matter. Okay, Fury Helm. Oh, each unit of currency increases pushback by a smidge. Okay, I think that's good enough. We could do more, but I think I'm fine. So what is my crit chance at this point? 71% my crit damage is great. So yeah, earlier when we were giving, being given the option of a 2% crit chance, it was just like, nah, it ain't worth it. And I am glad I made that decision because very much not worth it. I'm curious about the whole coins explode at the end of the range as opposed to having a 25% too. I wonder if that's like a, um, the explode as they heal you? Maybe. Did I actually pick that one up? No, it doesn't look like it. Boy, the pushback is, like, actually really good. Because the enemies seem to kind of work off of a slight momentum system. It's not its not like the uh, knockback uh, just pushes them back. It actually kills the momentum for a little bit, and they have to rebuild it. And it can take a... It can take a while before they're ready to come after me. Okay, pushback or more prosperity. I'm not actually sure if there's another region after this, uh, but it seems like it's worth it anyway. So crit damage, yeah, sure. That should be good. You can also sell stuff, which is interesting. I don't know how to feel about that one. All right, boss fight. And it looks like it's just a singular boss. Oh, nope, never mind. There it is. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if the elite rooms are all kind of paired with specifically the, uh, the boss they're associated with. I'm going to assume that's a very definitive yes. Well, no, give me, give me some money. Maybe there's another region. How do I level my weapon, though? Well, we got victory. Oh no, that's it. All right. So it doesn't look like there's anything else. No meta progression currently. A lot of characters that are not in the game yet. So that was Gale. Stat changes have more impact. That was pretty good. Weapons or projectile weapons pierce more. Chance of bleed. Uh, projectile weapons shoot two extra shots. Chance of causing an ice explosion that deals 50 damage when it hits. Uh, can only wield one weapon, but stat changes are doubled. Uh, High endurance, very slow. Only dexterity and HP can be scaled up. And then she just gets stronger, but also slower the more money we have. Okay. Well, why don't we try... Why don't we try regret? Oh, there's different abilities too. Three projectiles opposite of your movement direction. Uh, slow pierces enemies, magic blast at nearby enemies. An axe that randomly bounces between... Let's go for the boomer axe. Projectiles pierce an additional time, reduces power. Extra enemies, but reduces power. Dexterity, but reduce range. Or off, off chance, bleed chance. Uh, let's go for target for the time being. Okay. I think we do want to do probably uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's an elite fight, but that's not that good. There's a lot of these campfires. But no matter what, I want to hit a campfire before I do another fight. Okay, so I think the pierce was completely useless on this guy. Why don't we, um, why don't we back back out? I think there's other weapons that would have been good with that. Why don't we do this one instead? Because I think the axe, you just want multiple. Ooh, okay, this is pretty good. I'm digging that music. Holy smokes. Okay, these umbral orbs, ow, have 
the slowest setup. Um, nope. <laughs> Maybe it's a later weapon, but I definitely need something else. I'm just gonna keep uh, trying some of these. So maybe we don't do the target after all. I'll we'll just go for the bleed chance. Because that has no downsides to it. Because I think we want to do this way. Alright. I just got to find a good projectile weapon that I like. Because the... I don't know, man. I think those axes were were better. I'm just gonna keep rebooting until I find find the upgrade that actually works best for me. Okay. Oh, this this seems halfway reasonable. Yeah, I think the answer is the axes. They're not perfect. And I know that inaccuracy is a problem. I wish they would bounce off the environment, too. That's a bit of a downer, that they effectively bounce off a bunch of enemies and then sail off into the sunset for good. Either that or we safely just say, I don't think this character is good. <laughs> How about that? Let's go with that one. I think it needs some work. Uh, let's see, spell swipe. Now we tried that. Fast projectile scales with force, pierces four enemies. Pierces through, or we've tried boomerangs, but I don't know how that works. It scales with force. That's interesting. Yeah, let's try let's try the shuriken. Oh, and it's different too. Yeah, let's go for the fire rate. Apologies for repeatedly rebooting here. I just I gotta figure out what works. I don't want to be stuck in a run that I'm not going to enjoy. Very much it feels like this. Okay, we even uh, specifically actually are aiming at enemies. So I, I don't get the ability to aim any of these, but boy, yeah, that's effective. The damage ain't good, but the rest of it is solid. Also, we're cute and very well animated, but I'm also... I'm not sure if the character art is unique or if it was also made for um, Outbound Ghost. I definitely don't remember seeing these characters, but they could also be... The original, like, inspiration for them? I don't know. I don't even know how many people have played Outbound Ghost. I just bring it up because, like, weirdly enough, that game lived in my head for a lot longer than I would have expected it to. I think the real answer is just, like, as somebody that never played Paper Mario, the fascination with the Paper Mario style has kind of always stuck with me. Uh, let's go for the regen. Extra force would have been good, don't get me wrong. But... So I actually do have an amount of money. It shoots a card that pierces through two enemies. Scales well with crit chance. Ooh. Let's do quick eye. Reroll for zero. Uh, let's see. Yeah, do I want Umbral Ultima? I don't think so. I didn't care for it too much. So, where are we... what is my path? Because I think what I want to do is go kind of along the bottom here. Oh, I can't. <laughs> They're not connected. Well, it's fine. Now I got three different weapons and a little bit of regen, so we should be in a better spot. We definitely want to scale our crit and our force, so I actually do some damage here. But, uh, oh gosh. Okay, this is actually, like, way more effective than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I might want to try the Merchant as well, just to see about that uh, damage scaling. Because, yeah, this character is just kind of a piercing machine gun. I guess we did up our dexterity a lot. I think... I don't remember what was penalized for it. Or, no, we, up, we upped it by a... Or, we, yeah, we definitely boosted it. Oh, it's my range that's bad. My range and my power are both not as good as they could be, but that's fine, because... My dexterity is hilarious and very effective. I really like this music. Okay, so range, power, pick up, crit chance. Ah, oh, or I could reroll it for some money. I guess I'm gonna go for the prosperity, it's not much. Like, actually kind of insultingly low, but I'll take whatever I can. So crit damage, no. Damage, another, another shuriken. 
Okay, I get one more. That's what we level up weapons. So... I guess what I should have done was actually picked up alternatives. That's eh, fine. Now we know. I have no idea what a upgraded weapon does. At least, does differently. But at least we've figured it out. I feel like, uh... I feel like just getting a weapon a second time should just upgrade it. I, I don't think you should be able to stack multiple of the same. Maybe? I don't know, considering how short these runs are. But, who knows, there could be more regions later. It certainly did feel like my last run was a little on the short side. And it feels like I could go even further. Dang. I was thinking the, uh... The melee attack build was going to be nutty good. This is actually shockingly strong. Yeah, my only immediate problem is we probably really need to invest a lot into pickup range. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of money left over when I'm done. With the uh, melee range, we very much could uh, just go pick up our stuff. Not so on this one. Uh, I'll just go for the range upgrade. I don't actually know how good that is, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. Hourglass is... I like the idea of it. Oh, big enough. I think I'm reasonably strong. I mean, what am I at? Crit chance, 45%. Prosperity is not that high. Dexterity is absurd. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, we can do weapon info. Level 1, level 2. Projectile pierces 2, damage 10. Versus damage 5? Yeah, I don't know what the level 2... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. I need a level 2 shuriken to actually see. Oh, it's fine. I think the main thing this needs, I like the stat scaling, but I certainly do wish that there were more unique effects that I could add to some stuff. I don't necessarily know what it would be, but the uh, the main issue is ultimately, as cool as stat scaling is for customizing like what kind of run you're having, like we we're clearly having a machine gun build, and the last one was big AoE, and then who knows what my next one would be? Probably the answer is stack money, move never, and hopefully get a bunch of pickup radius just so I can grab my gold without moving. Uh, but, like, unique effects and other other things to make every run feel more distinct. My big worry is that every run with this character is ultimately going to feel very samey. Uh, why would I ever pick up max, max HP? Let's just go for the power upgrade. I, I do wonder, with all of these games, how much market research goes into them. You know, if you're making a bullet heaven, how many other bullet heavens have you played? You know, is it just Vampire Survivors? Was it only a little bit of Vampire Survivors? Did you just watch some other YouTuber play Vampire Survivors for a while? Because um, I've definitely wondered that about, like, uh, Deck Builder Roguelikes. It's the only other genre I can think of at the moment that has had this many reasonably high quality copycats. You know, Battle Royales, there were a ton of them, but most of them were garbage. Whereas, like, this one I could actually see being pretty good. It needs work, but, uh, th yeah, I mean, it's winning in terms of art style. It looks nice, and I love the characters just running around. I'm maybe a little bit too pink and flashy, and I'm not quite sure why. I think it's just me shooting stuff out causing me to do that. Ooh, scale force? Absolutely. The crit chance would be nice too, but I scale that elsewhere. Personally, I think the, the biggest change I would say is get rid of the campfires. Just have have it have one campfire pop up after every single level. Like, straight up just go full... Wow. In comparison, my Brotato run of this was... Uh, there we go. Uh, go for that dexterity. Absolutely. Pierce an additional time. Bleed, bleed does extra damage. Nah, I don't care about any of these. Frozen fish. I don't know what my crit chance is. But yeah, straight up get rid of these campfires. Just have them between, be between rounds. And make every, like, room you go into way more interesting. I 
don't know about the coins exploding between rounds. What is my crit chance anyway? It was 45% earlier and I've just increased it by 30%? Probably. Uh, concentration. Do we even need the possessed mask? Probably not. Let's grab the devil wings and not even think about the rest of this. The other thing I would do, crit chance is 120%. Well, let's find out if you can actually double crit here. Because I should have a 20% chance of over critting. Which I actually think is something that this game sh probably should have. Or it should just kind of warn you. It's like, hey, by the way, do you want crit chance in this moment? And the answer is probably not. Also, wow. At this point, we are just stun locking things into oblivion as they spawn. Which means that, oh gosh. Okay, never mind. Too many things spawn. <laughs> But I'd actually almost love to see more features that are based off of these scaling stats in interesting ways. Or to have the uh, trinkets actually have randomized unique effects added on top of them. Do you want the extra crit because it also has a bleed chance associated with it? Or do you want the movement speed upgrade that causes your projectiles to bounce off of walls? Uh, little stuff like that, maybe? I don't know. I think there's a lot of different ways you could do it. Uh, let's see, more pushback. Crit chance? But why? Like, once you go past 100%, it's kind of meaningless. I could keep doing it, but also, but why? If I do this, yeah, it just won't even let me. I don't know, I guess I'm just going to get a couple of possessed masks. Oh, can I go back? No, dang. Because I actually would have sold one of the frozen fishes, had I been thinking. Or I guess we could have gotten concentration a bunch of times, but I also don't think it matters. Because, yeah, what is my power at this point? 55%. Yeah. So, actually, uh, I, I kind of nerfed myself by picking up all those uh, crit chance upgrades. But I also don't think it matters. Like, in the slightest. Okay. So. There's some other characters I'd like to play around with maybe but let's go with penny she got money okay every 30 coins reduces cooldown by five percent uh okay unit of currency increases pushback by 25 percent but i'm gonna go for prosperity okay because yeah there's just too many campfires here like having two campfires next to each other is rough so i think we just want to go along the top because like, what's the point of going from one campfire to the next? There's nothing there. If campfires gave, uh, wow, okay, this cooldown is brutal. It'll be worth it, don't get me wrong, especially as we get up upgrades to make it just better. Especially with, like, range upgrades and a bunch of other things. Also, big ups. Ow. Oh, um, big ups you can actually see when an enemy is going to attack you. That's super nice. The fact that the uh, enemy ghosts are glowing like a very, very clear pink. Uh, that's like, yeah, this enemy is going to be taking a pot shot at you very shortly. Is super nice. Okay, that hurt. I'm going to get myself some regen. Okay, what else we got? know if I care for Link Leech. I'll try the Prismatic Rapier. Okay. I don't think we care too much about aim. So let's go for those. This should be decent. I could run into some problems and my HP is critically low. But at least I have some extra weapons here to kind of carry me. There we go. And I I really like this music. I 
I'll probably have to turn it off eventually, but it's charming and it's it's got like the right level of pep. Like I don't know if I'm truly having a good time, but the music makes me feel like I'm having a good time. And I think that accounts for a lot. Ow. Okay. Speed, range, range. There's a lot of other things that I maybe like, but this is important. Okay. Power tongs. Frozen fish. I don't know how much I want to get the frozen helm. Or the fury helm. Okay, another level of that. And the heavy pouch. Okay, let's go with those. That should be a pretty hefty setup. So the question is... I think I'm actually going to do this. It gets me... Oh, yes. Because I can do this, and instead of going right, I go up. We'll lose one fight. Do I want to lose one fight? I think I'm actually better off doing the fights. Because at this point, I'm reasonably strong. Yeah, I don't think I like the spear that much. I think I might sell it if we see a better option go by. Because if I sell that, then I can pick nothing but Fury Helm. And especially if we can stack range a bunch, I think we'll be in a good position. Also, that, um, that overhead chop is actually pretty good. I was assuming that it was, like, attacks vertically, but the answer is no, actually. We just, we hit whatever. Um, it's just really short range. But I don't mind short range at the moment. Alright, HP is actually looking good. Uh, crit damage powered? Nah, regen. And yeah, that, that coin upgrade is pretty good. I'm definitely slow, though. That is the one issue. It might also be just based on how many I have on hand at the moment. That part's not super clear. You, you definitely can tell I'm getting weighed down by the, uh, the weight of currency. Which is part of the reason why I'm super cool with having a bunch of really short-range abilities, and why the spear is kind of counterproductive for what I'm trying to do. Cripes. And my coin blast, slow as heck as it was in the beginning, absolutely crushing. Hopefully there's kind of a minimum movement speed, but I'm almost afraid that there's not going to be one. At least it, my coin explosion is the one that does the most amount of damage. The uh, spear, not so much though. So. This is really silly. <laughs> oh gosh. I guess I'll just sit right here and hope I don't get uh, crushed too much by bats. Oh my god, I can no longer move. I should have picked up that pickup radius. <laughs> well, I guess this is an idle game now. <laughs> Alright, I like this character. Okay, so I do get some of it, just not all of it. Um, prosperity pickup, range, power. I have but no choice. Okay, why don't we actually go down here? Uh, go for the prosperity. Go for the crit chance. What is my crit chance? So I can go a little bit further, and my power is fine.
I say is that I then proceed to get even more power. Okay. So I'm gonna sell Spirit Piercer. Crit chance, 72%. Do I gain the crit damage? Yeah. Get the Burning Blade. Ah. Would have liked the Quick Eye, but I don't think we need it. All right, so let's go back up here. And I can move again, hooray! Yeah, so we lost almost 100% of our power. That's probably fine. I don't think it matters that much. I like the character. I was kind of hoping that uh, the damage would actually scale permanently, not based on how much I had, but how much I collected, as kind of like a sign of like all the items you collect to slow you down. But you know what, whatever. It makes the character have kind of interesting scaling over the course of a run and the give and take, give and take of, well, do I want to sacrifice my money or do I want to hoard it because it actually is going to make me more, more powerful. Because now I can't move anymore. Uh, let's just get a bunch of range, I guess, and some more prosperity. And then let's go spend all this money. Okay, so I can get... I think all of those. But, yeah, no more crit. Game. Game. Please. Please, no. I guess I could have gone down and done another mid-boss. Speaking of mid-bosses, that was a different one. Not the, uh... Not the vine things. So either that means there's another boss at the end of this, or there's more mid-bosses that I've run into. I'm curious. Yep. Stay away from this. There's so many bullet heavens. I was just thinking about it. All the different ones that are like on my to-do list because I I straight up um, haven't had time to get to them. Or like they've had recent updates that I either didn't know about or know about, but again, time. Oh, it's fine. It'll be kind of fun. The nice thing is, like, as a content creator, on my end, you know, it's kind of one of those, it's like, I can almost have, like, a 20% oh, pickup radius, yes. I guess it's not gonna matter we're right at the end here. Uh, let's see, power, power tongs, absolutely. Oh, I want that range, whatever. It's fine. Time to go destroy the boss. Same boss as usual, new boss. New boss, new boss, new boss, new boss. Dang. But on the flip side, I do upsettingly large amounts of damage. It's a shame that my coin toss ability also scales very clearly off of held gold. What? Well, now we are holding a lot of gold. But consider how much gold I seem to be getting. Between rounds, I'm almost wondering if that's, um, if there's going to be more regions than that. I certainly hope so. Uh, let's see. Projectiles have a chance of causing an ice, ice explosion. I could see this guy getting pretty fun. And we haven't tried the bleed yet. I'm just not sure if I like it. And the needle could be really interesting, too. Oh, toggle secondary. What? Potency of weapon upgrades. Finding better weapons, trinkets, and stat upgrades. Explosion, ice explosion percentage, heal per crit, enemy quantity, aim cone, pierces, off chance bleed. There's a lot of stats here. I'm really hoping that uh, this gets a lot more. Just in terms of like, I really like the, uh, I really like the stat customization. It just needs a lot more options than it currently has. Uh, just because as it stands, it's a little bit too much just like, uh, plus crit, minus damage, and stuff like that. Like, I'd, I'd almost go so far as to say, uh, I would actually kind of prefer it if a lot of the... Uh, like, I like the trade-offs, but they're too common. So it feels like too often I'm balancing one upgrade on, on the next instead. And it would be more, more interesting if you had crit, but also a special effect. 
but it was like a lower crit percentage instead. Or if all of the stat items were kind of uh, phased out of the shop and only given between levels, or between levels you get a cool power-up and all the stats were at the shop. I, I don't know. It just needs more. Just a lot of a lot more options and a lot more like little unique power-ups that really make you think like, whoa, this is too good. I need to have this. Uh, because as it stands, once again, it's just micromanaging my stats. And it's fun now, but it's going to get boring as we go. So I normally don't do Kickstarter shoutouts, but I guess I might as well, seeing as this one actually has a Kickstarter to the yeah, Kickstarter that is running in the moment. It's already fully fully funded, so if you guys do feel like picking up uh, or funding Soulstalker, 100% funded in 7 hours, cripes, uh, then head on over to the yeah. Wow, I cannot, I cannot talk. I need to take a break. Uh, head on over to the Kickstarter page, which I'm going to link in the description below. But with all of that said, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to show off. And I'll be back for more of this one. I don't know what happened in the Kickstarter page. What? Uh, what? What happened there? I don't know. Well, I guess I can't scroll down at all. Weird. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.